Hey, this is Chantel. Welcome. We're going to get into the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder Foundation, the Neo Nude Melting Color Bomb Blush, and the Chanel Limited Edition Spring Quad Eyeshadow. Stay tuned. So I have created that eye off screen using the Chanel Limited Edition Less for ombre palette it is a quad and i've created this daytime work appropriate look and um they're all shimmers so i did go in with my viseart neutral matte milieu palette for my um uh, deepening colors and my transition so I am going to go in now with uh, my Sonia G Classic Crease. I'm going to zoom you in. Let me make sure the mic is on. Yes, we're recording. So I am going to go in with this shade here into my transition area. Going in with more. I've already primed my eyes using the matte paint pot. I'll leave the details below. But it's a classic and I'm liking it. I haven't used it in a while, but I like it. It does what it came to do. Oh, let's see, blending that out. Yes. Okay. So now I am going to go in with the Worker One by Sonia G worker one and I'm going to go in with this deep brown color and pack some color in my outer corner and my outer lid just to give um, this look more depth and these mattes are so buttery smooth they just blend themselves out that's one thing I love about the Busy Art formula. And because my eyes are small, I tend to um, avoid putting darker colors in my inner corner. And I will Continue to blend this out. I put my hand here to stabilize my lid that loves to wiggle around. It's aging gracefully. And I am going to go back in with the Sonia G Classic Crease back into this color and just um, blend out the the lines the demarcation and everybody knows this is a constant in between to get it just right but because I don't want it to be too smoky because it's daytime I want to Keep blending until I achieve the look that I'm going for. Going back in with that neutral. Okay. 
and they're looking more alike. And I'm not going back into the palette, but I'm going to take that brush that had the dark color on and just pat that in and blend a little more. And I think I want it just a little bit deeper. So I'm going to lightly tap with the same brush that I went into the deep brown color. Just a light tap. Knock that off and build up that outer V a little bit deeper. This brush I haven't used in a while, but it is so soft for all this blending on my sensitive eyes. Yeah, so I've done that and now I am going to go into the Chanel palette. go in with this product I was on I believe it was a live with Yadi's Beauty and uh, Amanda Wright I believe she's on IG Amanda Wright she insisted that this was uh, similar this epoxy glitter um, adhesive I don't know if it's adherent, adhesive, but she compared it and said it was probably better than the Pat McGrath product. And so I could not resist that claim. So I purchased that, I'll have it linked below. But I'm going in with this color here, with this um, flat brush. And this is by Linda Hallberg. And I'm just going to pat. Now, I don't know if this quad needed that, but Ashley Crutchfield, she um, always, always applies some kind of glitter, glue, or something when she's dealing with shimmers. And I have noticed that it definitely makes a difference in the way it wears. So I'm going to keep just tapping that on until I get my achieved look. And I'm only putting that on the center lid because I'm gonna go in <clears throat> with this taupey color here on the inner corner. And I'm going in with a little more of this Pixie Epoxy. And um, 
just gonna tap that in where I'm going to apply that and go in wiping my brush off using the same brush but going into that taupey color and tapping this in gently tap 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 and then I want to bring it up and up very pretty tap it bring it up and up and now I am going to go in with this more glittery gold here and just top it off wiping this brush topping it off and just tapping that in the inner inner corner yes Ooh. I can see the difference bling bling on this other side too. Ooh, be careful what you ask for. You will get it with this palette. Now I am going to take my Sonia G Mini Booster and just blend in between where I merged those colors. And blend on the outside parameter. Just so it looks seamless. And that is my eye look. I am going to finish that off with the Victoria Beckham eye pencil. It's beautiful. And this is in the color, it's a dark brown color. And It does have a smudger on the end and I am going to smudge yeah. smudge that out beautiful so my brows are done. I just completed my eyes and this is the finished look. I am going to apply my um, foundation, but I'll probably just put it in. Um, in fact, I want to show you uh, me applying my foundation because it is a foundation that I have been loving, but I haven't really demoed it on my channel. Be right back.
So this is the cream to powder formula. And honestly, the last time I used it, I did not set it. <laughs> and I had to think about it later. I'm like, whoa. But this is so beautiful. Very skin-like. It wears very well. And I love it. And this is in Brown Sugar Babe by The Fashion Fair House. I remember wearing chocolate raspberry uh, lipstick. <laughs> and I believe it was high school or junior high school. Now, I don't remember how I got it. I believe I probably took it from my aunt or something, or she gave it to me. Because I sure didn't buy it. But um, I have to get that lipstick again. Yeah, this is beautiful. Let me see if I can pull you in. Now, I still have to put my concealer. That's where it is. And I wanted to zoom you in so you can really see what this looks like. It's really beautiful. And it's like no matter how much I put on, it just doesn't feel like I'm putting on makeup. Loving it. This definitely is Chantel approved. Yes. So good. Okay. And I wanted to show you that. And now I am going to come back after I put my usual Pat McGrath concealer powder. Um, under eye powder and all that jazz and then I will come back to show you the blush that is new to my oh, I have did my concealer my under eye powder contoured a little bit and now I am going to go in with some bronzer and I do not believe that I have used this bronzer on my channel, but this is the Tom for shade. What is it? Is it shade and eliminate? No, Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in 01 Gold Dust. Of course, true to Tom Ford packaging, beautiful. This is not my first time using it, but I think it's my first time using it on my channel. So I am going to go in with my Niji Pro by Sonya G. This is my new lover. Yes, I bought two. So I'm gonna go in with this, and even though it looks light, it, works for me just to give me that sunk hiss look that I'm always after but yeah let's see if you can see it let's see if you can see it you know I'm always trying to snatch that forehead y'all yeah I can see the warmth right it's not drastic, but it is working. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and bring that five head down to a four real quick. Guess, uh, I like having a big brain and everything, but you know, sometimes you gotta bring her down, bring her back to a four. Okay. 
the formula is beautiful let me show you what it feels like what it looks the sheen it gives and even though it doesn't look like very much i want to show you that it does subtly it's a subtle bronze but it is doing something and that's with the lights and everything so, oh honey i bronzed all the way up because i'm ready for the sun to come back out yeah i posted on ig yesterday it held in southern california yes hell and it was a lot it covered the entire ground and today it is sunny and warm again and a day before that it was like 85 degrees exactly so um this is something else i want to do um i noticed that my nose gets lost in the sauce so i am going to go in with my favorite one of my favorites and this is the N natasha denona contour sculpting powder in number five with a light fluffy brush oh no no i want to use the sonia g this came from the fusion set and this is the um jumbo concealer but i am going to tap in there so lightly and i'm going to go from my brow into my nose just like that takes it up a notch so i am going to do that again on this side and i'm taking it from my brow just like that and i'm going to take a little bit more because the lights are washing it out a little bit but from under my brow like the inner socket and boom yes and it's just subtly giving me that uh, dimension what do you think yeah i think i'm loving it and then i will take this and just blend it on in magic the magic of it all yeah i love it so that's what i'm doing and uh my next product i've had it and i haven't used it and this is the uh giorgio armani neo nude melting color balm for cheeks and eyes blush cream now it's Lori's life. I believe she fell in love with this first and because of her, I bought it. And I love the packaging. It's been out for a while. I think I might have swatched it or something, but I haven't used it. And this color is beautiful. So I am going to use it. G Pro. And I want to swatch it. Oh. So it is like powder. Yeah, that is gorgeous. And it feels like a powder, but it looks creamy. Mm, no wonder Lori loved it. If you haven't, please check out It's Lori's Life. Um, I'll link her channel below. She has been going through a lot and keep her in your prayers. Um, I can't wait till she comes back and she is 100% healthy. So I'm going to go in. Oh, let's see. And I am going to, I don't want to do too much because y'all know I get blush heavy. Oh, I see it. Just, I'm going to bring it on up here because I'm fancy. I'm trying to find the most complimentary way to apply 
my blush because honey my face is looking skinny skinny these days this is pretty huh? now i want another one let me go in with a heavier Let me see. I keep forgetting I have a zoom. Let me just zoom you on in. Yeah. Okay, I know, I know I'm doing too much, but forgive me later. I like it. Put it on my chin. Just blush me on up. <laughs> okay, so this is my first impression and I'm digging it, just to let you know. And um, now I wanna go in, now look y'all, I like luxury, luxury, but I'm not wasting my product. Now this is Natasha Denona Glow. Zero to medium. I broke it and I am not going to get rid of it. So I surely did. Dumped it right in here. Got this container from my mama. Waste not, want not. Okay. I think that's all good. And I am going to just, oh. People wonder why I like Natasha Denona. Yes, honey. I'm looking all hydrated. Shinny is hydrated. Shinny is what my family calls me. That's my nickname, Shinny. This is beautiful. Have you tried this? And what's your, now this is tried and true y'all. This is not new to me, but I realized because it was broken, I didn't really use it on my channel. Mm. Now where am I going? to TJ Maxx, <laughs> not really TJ Maxx, but TJ Maxx, the cousin store, sister store, home goods. I need a rug. Okay, now I am going to go in with the lip and because I put on that orange blush, I'm gonna go in with the oldie but goodie, Mac Chili. And I am going to line that with the Makeup Forever. Uh, what is this? I don't know, I can't see. No, that's not the right color. I am going to go in with Dose of Color. That's what I'll do. The Dose of Color, uh, um, what's her name? Nima. Nima Tang. Her collaboration, this is Amberish Lips. I'm going to line my lips with that. So let's see. This is giving. Yeah. lips lined and now here is chili an old school classic is this chili oh. oh no this is not chili hold on i have to find chili is this chili or no 
Oh, it is chilly. This is chilly. Let me show you. Yes. So I am. Uh, Okay, I'm almost done. Let me put on my mascara. No fake lashes today. Masc okay, I am back with my two cents. My opinion on the products that were used. I wanna start off with Fashion Fair. The cream to powder foundation um, and the claims to be medium coverage. I think that is medium buildable because if you look at the video before my foundation, my freckles are very prominent and it did a very good job covering my freckles. So I'm gonna say medium to buildable full or almost full. This stuff is magic, magic. It is easy, you can take it anywhere. It's cream to powder. I didn't set it the last time. I did set it today with some Huda, uh, the setting powder. And uh, this is absolutely gorgeous and it is Chantel approved. Um, let me see what it says. It's best for normal oily skin. Um, it seems like it has some skin brightener to fade the appearance of dark spots, even tone, vitamin C, turmeric to soothe irritation. And it is supposed to be an opulent foundation that glides on the, a silky cream and dries to a thin, elegant second skin powder finish. And I wanna say, so far, it feels like that on my skin. Remember, my skin is normal with oily in the T-zone and I have hyperpigmentation. I'm over 45, so everybody's skin is different, but yes. Um, and what else? Oh, I went in with the Tom Ford uh, Glow Bronzer Powder. This is old. I think they still carry it in some stores. It's gold dust. I did show you that it's not... I think I got it from the cosmetic store. But even though if you are a medium, they usually describe my skin as medium deep. I think this will work for you if you like a naturally bronze um, aesthetic. So this um, is not new to me and I've worn it a few times. Deep in the summer, it may be questionable because I get really tanned. I change about a shade or two, especially in California, in Dallas, the Dallas sun. I was hiding from that. So, um, yeah. So I don't know if I get any deeper, if it will work for me, but so far so good. This, um, Giorgio Armani is beautiful and it is packs a punch. So this is a yes. In fact, I'm going to look for other shades in that. Now this is something that is new on my channel. It's the Pixie Epoxy. I'll link it down below. Super affordable, unlike the Pat McGrath. I think it's like $35 for her uh, glitter epoxy. Um, I like this a little bit better than my usual um, Too Faced glitter glue because it is very, um, it's not bulky or Tacky. This is very light and you don't feel it on the eye. And sometimes when I go in with that glitter glue on my aging eyes, it gives like a foiled look. And this didn't seem to affect the formula in that way. So I approve. Now this uh, Chanel, this is my first, this is my first Chanel um, eyeshadow. And even though it is subtle, 
it is beautiful and let me zoom in I should have pictures in here but um, I don't I have on mascara and I'm feeling this eye y'all and the lights are washing it out so if you want to see some pictures follow me on IG that's where I post my pictures and my stories video more real time yes but I am loving it and Chanel is coming out with a different formula that is what the rumor is in the makeup streets so I am not opposed to trying Chanel again I bought mine at Macy's I know for a long time it was exclusive to Chanel um, but I got mine from Macy's so yes I'm digging that um, and what else did I use new? oh I haven't really used this on my channel but this is an OG original painterly pot from Mac I've had it for a long time and it's still lasting but um, I use that on my eyes because I'm trying to figure out something that doesn't show it's not too too bright but I can use it easily and I do love the Gerard uh, cosmetics but I had this and I said let me try it and I like it y'all so yes and of course the Viseart formula I don't know if I use this on my channel a lot of times I use this to blend things out these are coming out um, in the mini like smaller smaller versions of these and I really wish that that was available when I purchased all of my Viseart because even though um, I love the formula I don't need that much from Viseart and this is for pros and that's hence the um, see-through which I like but I would check them out on in the new smaller um, package and of course I went in with Chili this is an OG I've been wearing that like 20 years I don't know but um, I saw it at the cosmetic stores and I purchased it again on my eyes off camera I went in with my usual um, brow products but I used the Burberry mascara and I love it stick applicator and it really defines the lashes I believe I got this on Nordstrom rack and I love it I also got this um, Marc Jacob it is like a primer for your lash I purchased Sephora on clearance and I love it it really helped with my mini lashes my lashes were growing when I was using my serum, but I stopped and I went in with my old Eba Goodie by MAC on the lower lashes. And um, yeah, I loved everything in the video today. And that's my two cents. I want to thank you for uh, responding to the poll that I placed on my community tab. I really need you guys to tell me what serves you i don't want to waste your time i enjoy making videos but videos are a lot of work and i want to give you information that you can use so um please uh hit the bell for notifications so you know when i'm asking of you or i have something like something on sale or something i want to inform you of but if you enjoyed please click the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and be blessed and i'll see you in the next video follow me on ig instagram every on every social TikTok, facebook it's heavy on the chai i love you and i'm out bye